So for those of you that are just joining, my name is Evan with Scott LeRoy Marketing. Um, today is going to be, oh, yes, I will be recording, I will end recording it for you guys. Sorry. All right, today we're going to be going over the new orientation with you. Um, This is kind of just um, a new agent orientation for um, it's like a very vague, it's not market center specific. So you may still have a market center orientation um, that you may still need to um, reach out to your market center about and be, um, and still be attended with that. Um, so this is just our orientation. So just keep that in mind. This is not going to be um, for your market center. Um, this may um, help you get a quick, little quicker start. Um, and get you a few of those questions answered um, in regards to your tech. All right, we will go ahead and jump in. Um, first thing I want to cover is if you have any questions, again, um, feel free to drop those in the chat. I just want to make sure I really rate that for anybody who may have just joined. Even if they're not currently about what we are discussing, drop them in the chat. I'll circle back periodically throughout today's class, and we will go ahead and get those answered for you. All right, so the first thing that we're going to go over today is the Keller Cloud Setup Complete email. Now I do have this pulled up, let me pull it over for you. Okay, um, so the most of you have probably received this. If you haven't received this yet, um, it, it, you, I'm sorry, it may be because um, you haven't completed your questionnaire with your market center, um, this may be the questionnaire that they send. They may reach out to us to send to you. Um, it just all depends on how they, their preference of this questionnaire getting over to you. If you are brand new with the Market Center, haven't completed your command invite, then you would not have completed this as well either. If you just completed your questionnaire today, um, typically it does take 24 to 48 hours um, for everything to be set up and sent back over to you. So we just ask to be patient um, and we'll make sure that you we'll make sure that you do get that um, as soon as we are able to. But always check out, um, make sure you are keeping an eye out for your um, email that shows this is the subject line. It's going to show Keller Cloud Setup Complete. It's going to have your name. And then it's going to have your market center number is going to show here. So this market center number, um, it's going to be specific to your market center. Each market center has a different number. If you show a market center number and then like BC, that just means that you're a part of a business center, which is, it's like the market center. It's just like an off branch of the market center. Um, and your market center leadership st staff most likely probably have, has explained that to you what it is. So just keep an eye out for this specific email. If you have not received this at any point um, or you don't recall seeing this, there, are, there is two things you can do. You can just type in the search bar right here. You can type in Keller Cloud and hit enter, search it and see if anything comes up. Um, or you can reach out to us directly, support at scottleroymarketing.com. And we would be more than happy to um, see if we have sent this over, resend it over, or what's going on. So we'd be more than happy. And let me go ahead and drop that in the chat for you, our email address. So at any point, um, you need to reach out. Yep. All right. So there is our email address in the chat if you need anything. Um, if you need help finding this, you can just email us directly. Yep, so Susan, go ahead and reach out to that email address, or if you wanted to search in your email first, the Keller Cloud Setup, um, and see if anything comes up. But if you don't see anything, just go ahead and send us an email, and one of our agents will be able to um, look into that for you. All right, so looking into this email, Sorry. All right, so looking at this email, you're going to see Welcome Aboard Keller Williams. Please click here, and it's going to be this click here in red is a link to access all your new information. It's going to show your market center number, 
which again, it's going to show right here, which this number is going to be the um, access code our password for when you click on this link. So when we click on the link, it's going to take us to the screen. And we're going to type in the number. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and basically go over this pretty much top to bottom with you. Um, so you can kind of understand what it is that we provide, what accounts you have, and things like that. So starting off up here at the top with this information, this little section that I just highlighted, um, this is for our internal purposes. A lot of times people think their account's locked. They send us an email saying, hey, what's my 16-digit unlocking key? This top section, you can completely just move past it. It is for our internal purposes. Um, this is just letting so when it shows locked, that just means that this is information on this is not able to be changed. Um, sometimes we do send over a first draft to your leadership staff just so they can look over and make sure that we didn't miss anything. Um, but again, stuff still falls through the crack. But if during that first draft, you can highlight this and you would be able to type and change this information. And sometimes when you change the information and save, you think that it's updating it and it's not. So a lot of times information was getting um, obscured. So we started locking them and that's why you see this up here. So again, you can just completely ignore this little section. So looking down, we do have our um, our header up here. Um, you're going to see that this is a link to a video. Um, basically, this is just letting you know um, how to read this, how to read this email as well. So a lot of times people just kind of find it as an image, but it is actually a link to a video. Um, so scrolling down, it does have a little welcome message well, followed by your SLM website password. This is also going to be your Marcus Center number as well, which again is going to um, be your password for the, our website. So if you were to go to scottleroymarketing.com, um, you can leave off the challenge. It's going to take you to our website. And then it's going to, let me just log out real quick. Um, it's going to have, a, it's going to look like this. So if you try to log into agent resources, it's going to ask you for your KW Market Center number or password. So this is where you're going to enter that. If you see on your setup sheet, there is some exceptions for certain market centers that have an extra letter or it has a word attached to it. That is going to be your market center specific but that will still also work to log in here. And that will also be um, used to access this setup sheet. Okay, so the next section that you see here is going to be notes from your onboarding team. This notes from your onboarding team is almost always gonna have this note here that asks you to reply with, um, to reply to the email with your professional biography and your headshot. This is so we can just make sure that your biography and headshot is updated and added to your accounts. Um, there is multiple different accounts that we do update this information. Um, by all means, if you wanted to learn how to do it yourself, you can reach out to us. We can send you tip videos. I can show you where to find tip videos if you want to look at that yourself or just send us an email again and we'll do it for you. Like I said, there is a few different platforms that this gets added to. There may I also I'm sorry. There may I may also be other um, notes here, such as like KW um, RI KW support. They do a lot of updating and command all of the time. Um, which you, if you're new with Keller Williams, you will come soon. Come soon to find out KW is always updating things. And sometimes during those updates, we're not able to access certain features. We're not able to update certain things. And if that's the case, instead of making you wait three or four extra days to have all of your logins, we're just going to skip over that and we'll put a note here for you so you can see that, hey, we weren't able to do this. This is why. Um, feel free to reach back out to us if such and such, if you're able to access the account later on, if you see this is working and we'll be able to update it for you, activate it, whatever the case may be. So just keep an eye out under the notes section from, um, from your onboarding team and we'll be more than happy to fix whatever was not done at that point in time. And there's also too, a lot of times, um, if your market center has the services where we order your starter kits, um, again, that's gonna be another thing that if your starter kit was not ordered for whatever reason, that will be in your notes as well. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. All right, moving on. 
Um, the first little score that we see on our left hand side right here is going to be our KW Systems um, logins. This is going to be not just for our command account. This is also going to be access my KW, KW Connect. This is going to be how you can access your um, command mobile app. So this username and password is going to give you access to multiple different platforms of Keller Williams. That's why a lot of times when, if you email us asking us for assistance with something, when we say your KW username and password, this is what we mean. Yes, it is also your command password, but this password and username allows access to so many other platforms as well. So we just say KW username and um, password. Um, so again, this um, the login information here, it does show you that it is synced um, with command, the command app, KW Connect, uh, Keller Home Loans, um, and we do provide links down here as well for you. Um, sometimes these links are going to be to provide, take you to a video of how to use this information. Some of the links <clears throat> are going to take you to the sign-in pages. So um, feel free to check out these links when you have some time. Um, just even if you just skim over them, just so you know what's there if you need to come back to it later on. Because again, there are a lot of different platforms and um, accounts that you now have access to. G Suite. Um, G Suite is going to be your KW email address. Um, if you chose for, if, if you already previous, if you had previously set up your KW email address before this questionnaire, you may see your KW email address here. And under password, it's going to say previously set up. If your KW email address was set up by you or your Marketing Center staff before us, um, there are going to be some accounts that we are not able to um, set up and that will be noted during your on your completed setup here. And that's because these accounts require a two-step verification code. They get sent to your email. Um, and we, instead of emailing back and forth, we just send you an email. We just message on here saying, Feel free to reach out to us with your um, email user, your email login and password, and we'll be more than happy to get these set up for you. But if we set up, if we create your KW email address, um, it's going to show here. It's going to show what the password is that we create. Now to log into your KW email address, you just simply go to uh, gmail.com. Let me use this. You just going to go to gmail.com. And it's going to look just like as if you were logging into a regular Gmail email um, account. You're going to go to sign in. And then you're going to type in your KW email address. And then you're going to put in your password. If you, for whatever reason, see um, an error message that comes up saying something about reaching out to your administrator, or if you see an error message saying that the account cannot be found, feel free to reach out to us, support at scottleroymarketing.com um, because it may be one or two things that we need to look in on the back end, or you may have to reach out to KW support directly, which we will let you know if that is the case. Um, there was a big situation that happened with the email addresses. So we're making sure we're tight on, um, we're tight on the information and so is KW. So that's why you may need to reach out to them as they are the administrators for these accounts. Okay. Oh, here we go. Sorry, wrong screen. Um, and again, with the G Suite section, um, we do have um, a lot of other information here for you as well. On your questionnaire, it will ask if you um, wanted us to forward your email address to another one or prefer business email. So if that was the case, it's going to show you here if we actually did forward it. Um, now, keep in mind, a lot of the information on these questionnaires that we have, it says, what is your business email or your preferred email? So if you if you put a preferred email or a business email to be used, that email is going to be the email that things get set up on. If you put a phone number on that questionnaire, that is the phone number that things will be set up with. So when you log into your accounts and you see that this email is may be incorrect, this phone number may be incorrect. It's because that's the information that we use. So we'd be more than happy to update it for you. You just have to let us know. Or if you have not completed that questionnaire yet, just make sure the information you're putting on there is the information you're gonna wanna see reflected across these accounts. And on if we do business cards for your market center, 
on your business cards because that's where that information is going to pull to. All right, scrolling down, we do have the KW Command IDX website. This is going to be your agent website link right here. Now, um, the agent website, this is typically when you, like when we ask for your preferred email options, we try to make sure that your email address and your website are going to be pretty much close to the same. KW wants it that way. Um, they want it to make sure that they both have something to do with your name. Um, now, if you do have a, a business name, uh, things like that, we are able to make sure that's included. But there is also a giant list of words and phrases that KW um, does not like to, does not allow to be added for the KW email addresses, such as realtor, real estate, um, all kinds of things like that. So if you may have put any of those options on your questionnaire and you see that the email address that was created for you has nothing to do with those, that may be run one reason why. Um, or because it had nothing to do with anything to do with your name and KW didn't approve it. There's a few different options of why. Um, so this, this website URL, again, this is going to take you directly to your agent website. Um, this does have a login feature on top of the website. There's a login feature here. This is an agent, um, I'm not sorry, this is a client login um, area. This doesn't have an agent login. So this doesn't have a login for you to access any of the backend stuff. That backend information, the backend setup stuff is through command. So this is for clients. Now you are able to create a login and you can see how clients see everything on here. Um, so if you wanted to do that, that is perfectly fine. But just make sure you know that this is not going to take you to like any kind of back end updating information. That's all done through command. So if you want more information about that, um, if you want to check out some videos, you can email us. You can check out our YouTube page, which I will be showing. No, I'm showing you our YouTube page as well in a little bit. So you'll see that also. All right. So scrolling down, you also have your kw.com agent profile. A lot of times, not always, um, this may say like kw.com slash na or something like that, or it's showing that it doesn't work. Um, we can check on that for you. A lot of times what happens is um, KWRI, they're the ones that actually create this specific account. And a lot of times it doesn't, they, they don't get it set up within one to two days. It takes like three or four, maybe even five days for them to set that up. So a lot of times what happens is um. It just, it, we, we put a link on the, the NA on here just because we want to skip it, move on. We're not going to wait three, or five, three to five days for them to do it, to send it over to you. So we can definitely update that for you. Basically, it's just a um, profile that they set up on kw.com, which kw.com is just a, um, a place where you can go. You can find an agent. Um, you can also search for houses, stuff like here. So like if, if a consumer wanted to search for houses, they can do it on here and it's going to connect them with agents in that area. So when you do find an agent and you type in their name, whenever you click on their name, that's going to show what their agent profile is. So that's one way you can find that as well. All right, this is going to be your command email. A lot of times this is, most of the time, this is going to be the email address that we set up for you, unless you have specified a bit different business email address to be used. Um, this command email is going to be the email that is inside of your command account when you send smart plans and campaigns. This is going to be the email that it shows that it's um, the reply to email, who where it's coming from. Um, so it also does show here that there is... Um, Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Somebody was trying to type a question. Um, so if with the command platform, it does allow 5,000 free emails um, per month. So if for whatever reason you feel that 5,000 emails aren't enough, if you hit that limit each month, you are able to purchase more emails inside of the marketplace. Um, you can also use the link here. When we go into command, I'll show you where you're able to find that. 
your KW Consumer App Link. So your Consumer App Link and your um, Consumer Website um, both pull information from the same place. And again, your Consumer App Link um, has a login feature on it as well. That is for your clients as well, just like the website. What's really cool about the app and the website is whenever you have a client that registers an account, which may, means they create a login, their information is going to auto show into your command account. It's going to have these little um, icons next to them that's going to show that they are a lead and they have registered an account. Once they register that account, you're able to see like when they are searching properties on the app, when they're liking properties, you can do save searches, which will send them emails. Um, and you can kind of just kind of keep track of what's going on with them, what they're looking at, what's what, what they're doing. So this app link is a really cool thing to have. Um, I suggest a lot of times people um, take this app link and use it to create a QR code to where you can just put on marketing materials. Um, you can just put it on emails, things like that. So once they scan it, they can go ahead and create the login. It's branded to you, has your picture. As long as you have a picture added to your marketing profile, it'll have your picture. Um, and it'll show them your information. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, if you have any questions, there is a link here, or you can email us or however you want to do it. We'll be more than happy to make sure that you have that information. Um, Keller Home Loans personal links. Um, these are going to be just links that are here for you um, to access Keller Home Loans. Um, if you do, some market centers may not have these. Um, you may need to speak to your market center or reach out to us um, and we can get those for you if need be. Twilio messaging. Um, Twilio is a service that you are able to add from um, command add to command. Um, it is one way that you're able to reach out to your clients um, using a text message service, um, text texting service. So you can create smart plans and instead of just emailing, you can set up automated text messages to go out. Um, so that information is going to be here as well. All right. So depending on your market center, most market centers um, no longer use Dotloop. They use DocuSign. Um, so again, that just depends on your office. But if you use DocuSign, we're going to have this DocuSign information here. Um, Again, if this is one of the things that you've previously set up um, with the email address or if you're a returning agent, this was set up before, this email, this information may look a little different. But typically, we want to use your KW email address. Um, most market centers will tell you that as well to set up your DocuSign accounts. Um, so when we go in and we set up your DocuSign account, we're going to try to make sure that if as long as we have your NRDS I believe they just changed the name of it. I forget what that name was changed to, but it's generally most agents know it as the NRDS ID number um, and what board you're a part of. We can go in and make sure you have access to your board documents, your office documents. Um, they're all Make sure they're all connected for you in your DocuSign account. Uh, we're going to try to make sure that this DocuSign account is connected in command. So whenever you're creating opportunities, you're able to access your DocuSign, pull in those forms, and uh, get all that information going seamlessly for you. Um, keep in mind too, whenever we do set up these DocuSign accounts, there is, it will send a registration email over to you. If we are create, if we are setting up using your KW email address and we create the KW email address account, meaning we are the ones that did this part, not you, not your market center. As long as we have access to that during setting this up, we will set up the security question for you. We will set up everything for you, meaning the security question will be added down here. So if you ever go to change your password and it asks the security question, what phone number did you remember most from your childhood? That's something that we set up. And then the passwords, the, the answer is always going to be right below it, including the periods in between. This is the number you would use. Now, if this information is not here, if you don't see all of this it'll and you just see the email address, that means that we sent over the registration email to whatever email address you see here. Um, so basically, you can just search your inbox for DocuSign. 
and then follow those registration steps from that DocuSign email. And then you'll be the one that's going to set up the security question, the answer for the security question and all that information. So again, at that point, we won't have this. You will have it and um, you have to just kind of make sure you keep track of it in case you need to ever reset your password or things like that. So I'm just going to take a second. I do see a couple of questions have came in. And let's see. Susan, how do you get to the how do you get to this page with all of the links? Susan, are you referring to this that we are currently on? My dark sign is not connected with my command. Who should I contact? Feel free to send us an email, support at scottlaroymarketing.com. We'll be more than happy to assist you with that. Um, just make sure, um, Damien, yeah, Damon, make sure whenever you send us that email, um, we are going to need your KW username and password. Um, we're also going to need your DocuSign login information as well. So, yes, Susan, these are going to be the, this is from the Keller Cloud setup complete email. And then when you click here to log in, and it's going to take you to this. And this is what we're going over, what all of this sheet entails. All right, we're going to go ahead and continue on. <clears throat> All right, so homekeepers, some market centers have a setup on the homekeeper accounts for you. Some do not. Can I show where you click? So if you have this Keller Cloud setup complete email and you scroll down where it says click here, you just go to click here and it's going to open up your page. You're going to enter your market center number, whatever you see here. You will enter on that page. And then this will bring up this. And guys, if we did come in just a little bit for or say late to um from the start today, keep in mind this is being recorded. I will post it later on for you um on our YouTube channel so we can you can go back and uh, watch it over and kind of catch up on the very beginning parts. Um, so yeah, feel free. Um, I'll also send you the link, the YouTube link. I'll put it in the chat in a little bit when we get to that part. Yes, yeah, so it's in the cloud pages. Okay, gotcha. Um, so Homekeeper, some market centers have a set it up, some do not. Um, but as I say, it's your Homekeeper is used to track lead activity. Um, so if you do see the Homekeeper section, um, feel free to check that out. We do have some great videos on this as well. Um, so you may also need to check your email for verification verification message from Homekeeper to complete the setup of your account. Um, we do also now recently start setting up Calendly, Blink, and Zoom accounts as well as a Canva account. Calendly is going to be an account that you can use to set up meetings with clients. Um, this we this will link directly to your email address that we set up for you as well. So whenever somebody uses the Calendly link, so your Calendly shareable link here, whenever somebody clicks that and books a time with you, it will show up on your KW um, calendar. Um, it does also have the login information here, so you can adjust time slots, things like that. Now, keep in mind, all of these accounts are the free basic accounts. There is no special partnerships with um, KW and us or us and them or KW and them. Um, they, these are the free basic accounts. So just like the Zoom account, um, if you have a free Zoom account that you use, you'll know there's like a 45 minute time limit. That's going to be the same exact thing on these accounts. So it's the basic free accounts. If you want to pay for the upgrade accounts, you are more than welcome to. Um, we can assist you with showing you where to do that, how to do that. Um, but yeah, these are just are going to be the be free basic accounts. I just want to make sure I, I kind of emphasize on that because sometimes people think that we have these special partnerships and things like that, and we just don't want to mislead anybody. So we want to be very transparent about that. The blink.me are your um, digital business cards. Um, again, if you, some of the information you may have provided on your questionnaire, if some of that information may have been, have been changed, um, you are able to log in and update that information. If you need assistance with that, because this can get a little bit confusing, it's understandable. We are more than happy to update that information for you. Feel free to send us an email. 
and say, hey, my Blink um, digital business card, I need to update my email address. This is what I need to update it to. Um, if you have this available to send a screenshot or to send us the logins, that will be helped tremendously as well. Um, but yeah, so the, again, this is a digital business card. It does also have a QR code on there in the settings on here that you can use to um, set, have people scan. And um, basically, it'll it'll save your information into their phone. Um, if you have a, your headshot added on here as well, it will save their headshot into their contacts as well. Unfortunately, at this moment, the on the command mobile app, there is the same the same feature, but for whatever reason, the headshot does not transfer over from the command mobile app. In this one, it does. So, as much as we would love to use command, this one does have the um, the headshot available to go with it. Um, again, Zoom. Um, there is a forty five minute. Um, meeting time limit on there and it's up to I believe it's a hundred um, guests per room but the free count typically 30 minute meetings are, are typically what people use for um, transactions so but this is just a way for you to be able to connect with clients as well and then we also now recently um, set up Canva accounts um, in this side the Canva account what we have also started doing is creating agents um email signatures. So inside of that Canva, you'll see um, there'll be a square here. It'll have your Canva login. And if you scroll down just a little bit inside that Canva account, it'll have the, um, the project where we created the email signature for you. You're able to edit that information. You can add your headshot um, and then you can download it. And, and I'll show, be showing you where you can go to add that headshot to your email, which I can actually... Um, I can show you that real quick. Um, okay. So in your email address, whenever you go, um, you have your email signature, say you download it from Canva, you can just click on the little settings gear icon right up here at the top. Click see all settings. Well, when you're in your settings, you're going to have this general tab, which is going to be the default tab that it, you um, show up on. You're just going to scroll down until, oops, did I scroll too far? I did. Signature. You'll see a signature here. You're going to create a new signature and you're going to give it a name. You're going to click create and then it's going to have this box here. Um, you'll, you can click on this little insert image. And when you download it from Canva, it's going to say to your computer, you're gonna click upload, select a file from your device, and then you'll just drag and drop the email signature from there. Um, and then you can, it'll give you a couple different size options as well. It's where you can, if you want a little smaller, a little bigger, you just select the size you'd like. And then from here, you're gonna make sure you choose for new emails use, and then you'll select KW signature. On reply forward, use KW signature and then scroll to the bottom and click save changes. So that's how you can update your email signature within um, your email account as well. Again, we will be more than happy to assist you with doing that. If you would like, just send us an email, let us know. Okay. Here we go. Um, so another thing, if you are an agent that has onboarded with us before the Canva, um, before we start setting up the Canva accounts and doing the email signatures and you would like an email signature set up, there is a couple of things that you can do. Um, one of them is you can go to our website um, and you can go under agent resources, log in using your market center number. And then you're, we're gonna go to agent support. Oh, I'm sorry, May. we're going to go to templates, I'm sorry, and free templates. And then we're going to scroll down to where you see email signatures. Now, click on the email signatures button, and it's going to give you this template um, created here. And you're just going to click use templates for new design. Now, this may have you log into your Canva account. If you have a, a, a personal Canva account, it's perfectly fine. You can use that. 
And then this is going to give you a bunch of different email signature options that you are able to use. You can edit them straight from here. It's perfectly fine. Just make sure whenever you edit them and you get them to where you like, say this one you edit, um, but you have all these other templates that you didn't use. Just make sure when you click the share and download, it's going to ask you which pages and it's going to automatically default to all pages. So just make sure you change that to where you unselect and just select the current page seven. So it would only download this one for you right here. Once you have that downloaded, feel free to send that download over to us in an email, send us your email password and we can upload it straight for you from there. Same thing if you want um, business cards, we do have professional different business card styles um, that you can use. I'm just trying to see, I've been a minute since I've looked at these. Yeah, so there are different, a bunch of business card styles on here as well that you're able to create business card styles on here that you can use. Um, we don't um, we don't do anything with the business cards, unfortunately, but you can use those, save them, print them, um, you know, however, whatever company you wanted to use, you could do it that way. But there are a bunch of different business card templates on here that you can use also. Or to be honest, you could even use this signature as like a business card if you wanted to. It looks, it's the same exact layout. So whatever works for you, but you can, that's where you can go and you can design it um, and create it yourself however you would like. All right, so now we're going to go over our website. Again, guys, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to go and drop them in the chat. I'll check on that periodically for you. All right, so from our agent website, we're going to go over just a couple of things under this agent resources tab. Mostly, we're going to touch on these questionnaires. Um, so this questionnaire section is not just for new agents. We have all different kinds of questionnaires. So I'm just going to kind of break those down. Um, if any of them seem like they may be um, applied to you, feel free to go ahead and go on the website and check it out and um, fill it out for us. So we have the new agent questionnaire. The new agent questionnaire is going to be for any new agents with Keller Williams. Does not mean that you're a brand new agent in general, um, but if you've never been with Keller Williams before, you would fill out the new agent questionnaire. If you are, if you have, I'm sorry, if you have hired an admin for a team, or if you are a new admin for a team, um, you can fill out the admin questionnaire. This is going to be for unlicensed admins, um, meaning they're not real estate agents. They're not going to be having all the realtor logos, things like that, because they're not an agent. This is going to be for unlicensed admins. If you're an admin and got your license um, and are become an agent, you have the admin to agent questionnaire. If you are a capper um, and you are joining Keller Williams, this is the capper questionnaire. Um, this is just a way to make sure that everything is expedited. Everything is top tier set up. Um, it's, everything's going to be the same setup as the new agent. It's just going to be a lot more communication with them. There's just a lot of uh, little extra things that we do for the cappers. Um, command, this one doesn't get used anymore. Um, we need to take that off. I actually just made a comment earlier today about it. The existing agent questionnaire. This questionnaire is something that we look at as kind of like going to the doctor once a year for just like a yearly checkup. Say you've been with Keller Williams for six years and you... You know, you haven't really done anything to get the newest updated tech that's available, any of the new accounts. Um, you know, you have your command account, you have your marketing profile set up. Um, that's awesome. But you just kind of want to see what the new tech's going on. You can fill this out. This will not update any of the pre-existing information you have filled out. So we're not going to replace any um, biography or any of your marketing profile information. Um, this is just going to go in and kind of give a little update to your account. This is going to give you those new Canva, Blink, Calendly accounts. We're going to set those up for you. Um, you know, just kind of things like that. It's just kind of like a yearly checkup just to make sure everything's everything's up to date. Sorry, people are still joining us. So I was just letting people into the room. Um, the expansion questionnaire. The expansion questionnaire is going to be if you are an agent that's currently part of a market center in Florida, 
and you get licensed in Georgia and you join a Keller Williams Market Center in Georgia. You're not leaving the Florida Market Center. You're just joining a second Keller Williams office. That's what the expansion agent questionnaire is going to be. So your marketing profile is going to show both of your market centers. It's going to show um, all the information as you're part of both instead of one versus the other. Um, hidden agent setup. This is going to basically we're going to set up accounts for you, but we're going to make sure your marketing profile and website are not active. Um, this is kind of more used for agents that say they're leaving one company and coming over, but they haven't told that company yet. They don't want all their things live, um, but they just want to kind of get the ball rolling on their setup. That's what this is going to be for. So this is kind of keeps everything hidden. And then once the agent's ready to go live and they want to announce it, um, they we just set, have them send us an email and we go ahead and activate everything, make sure their accounts are live and ready to go and they can be Googled and found online. So that's what the hidden agent setup is. Um, if you have new staff members joining, they're going to go ahead and fill out the market center staff questionnaire. Um, if you were an agent that left Keller Williams, say you went to another company and decided to come back home, um, there's the returning agent questionnaire. If you are joining a team, we do have the team questionnaire and then we have a transfer agent questionnaire. So a transfer agent, again, this is going to be from K, um, KW to KW, not if you left KW, went to another company coming back. It's just for if you're going from one KW office to another. All right, and so those are, those are different questionnaires. Um, and another thing you can do is you can click on questionnaires here and it's going to kind of give you a little bit of a breakdown, um, but sometimes these can still be a little confusing. So I try to explain them to the best I can. Correct, Edwin. All this information will be, this video will be posted onto our YouTube page within 24 hours. We try to do it ASAP, but typically it's going to be at least by the end of the day. So within a few hours, you should be able to find it. But the good thing is, is we do a most, we do the same class a couple different times throughout the month or you know at least once a month so you are able to go onto our youtube page and find this class from the last recording which i'm going to show you in just a moment so the last thing under our agent resources is um the agent support under agent support you have all different kinds of things that um, are available to you as an agent if you need assistance importing your database um you know you can do that here a little cool trick is to also, if you have um, a lot of contacts in your phone, you're wanting to get into command, the new command mobile app version, you are able to download the contact straight from your phone into command, which there is a video on YouTube about that as well. Um, there's all different kinds of things, again, things on here that you are able to um, take advantage of, command services, um, you know, so import database, DocuSign setup, um, import top producer, smart plan setup, all kinds of things. So definitely give this a look, um, especially if you're needing any assistance with any services. Um, you can definitely use this page. Um, you are also able to just email us and you know ask us that way, whichever works for you, not a problem. And then again, we have these templates, um, the free templates that are available to you where you'd go for um, listing social posts, birthdays, um, email signatures, things like that. All right, so uh, last but not least, I'm gonna go over our YouTube channel with you. Our YouTube channel is going to be um, youtube.com and then slash at Scott Leroy Marketing, which I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the chat for you. Ooh. There you go. Um, so when you are on our YouTube channel, you'll see this homepage here. There is this little magnifying glass that you can click on and type in whatever kind of subject you're looking for. So um, if you just, oops, I cannot spell today, sorry. If you type in import, um, it's going to give you the import contacts using the new command template. Um, there's a bunch of different Import mobile, um, import phone co contacts with command mobile, and it's going to show you how to do that. The only thing about using this little search icon, this little magnifying glass here, is 
it does not allow us to go ahead and when we um to add, when we upload videos to add them according to the newest versus the oldest. So you just have to make sure that you're kind of looking just just browsing to make sure it's the newest updated version. My golden rule of thumb is as you see one within six months, that's going to be the best bet to use. Um, but generally, I would try to keep it within a year. Like I said, command does update quite frequently. So you want to just make sure that you're using the most latest up to date version. So again, this is where you can come find videos. Um, this is where you can find a lot of information. You can also, if you don't see anything that you're looking for on here, feel free to email us. We are on this YouTube channel sending out video links all the time. We most likely will be able to find a video link for you and send it to you um, if you are not able to. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.